We're back. Hello there. It's the joy of zoning. My name is John Hodgman. Today is Friday, May the 6th, 9, 11 a.m. I'm going to pretend like what just happened never happened. Well, we started we started the stream at 9 a.m. as we have been doing for the past uh, nine business days, eight business days. Um, but I was having some technical difficulties with a certain browser. I'm using a new browser now. Might as well tell you which one it is. Firefox. And guess what I can see? This beautiful city that we call Max Fun Drive Sylvania. We call it Max Fun Drive Sylvania because I've been doing this special limited edition short season internet TV show in honor of the Max Fun Drive. The Max Fun Drive of course, is that 10 business days every year, once a year, where we, the hosts, uh, producers, and staff of the Maximum Fun Network of quality podcasts, including Judge John Hodgman, uh, come to you and say, hey, we put the podcast out for free all year long, all the live long day. That's how we like to do it. We want it to be free to anyone who wants to listen. But if you enjoy them and want to support us and can do so, you can go to maximumfund.org slash join and become a member, a supporting member at $5 a month, $10 a month, whatever you can afford. If you have a, a $5 a month membership, you can boost or upgrade to a $10 a month membership. That counts towards our goal of new and upgrading members this year. We're streaming swiftly. Uh, new, new and upgrading memberships have really skyrocketed over the past couple of days, which tends to happen towards the end of the Max Fund Drive. Today is the last day of the Max Fund Drive. And I'm encouraging you, nay, asking you to go to MaximumFun.org slash join. Today is the season finale of The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. I'm John Hodgman, your host. This show is a homage to The Joy of Painting by Bob Ross. Bob Ross would get on uh, television from time. I wonder if he ever did pledge, pledge drives. Bob Ross was on public television and he would paint an oil painting and talk about it in soothing tones. And what I've discovered is that playing SimCity, the 2013 edition, with all its many bugs and foibles and flaws, actually helps me to zone out. As I was saying in the stream earlier, I got this game way back then and it made me very anxious. I felt very responsible for these little Sims. Here, let's take a look at some of them. Let's zoom in on some some of the Sims who live in this city. I felt so responsible for them. Here's one. Levi Johnston. This town's boring. Leaving town. Uh, and then I learned to stop feeling so responsible for them. Look, they're getting run over. They're not real. That complaint, which I think you could see, it hurt me. It hurt me. It cut to my. It cut to my uh, heart like a knife. That Levi Johnston finds this town boring. When, by the way, it's full of cool double-decker buses. Happy little double-decker buses with Union Jacks on them, and garbage trucks, and a lot of U-turning. What I realized is not only are these Sims <laughs> just constant complainers and therefore undeserving of my sympathy, but also. Uh, they're dumb. They're making U-turns all the live long day. And they're not real. You saw the cars driving right through them. None of this is real. It's all a simulation. It's a piece of art. It's nothing more than a jigsaw puzzle. So when Johnny Hardhat over here yells at me saying, high wealth shops needed, that used to make me very nervous. And then I realized he's not real either. Go away. Playing this little game helped me. When I realized that they weren't real, as I said before, it not only made me emotionally healthier, because it was obviously an anxiety event. I mean, real humans are real, but of course, if someone yells at you, that's just noise that comes in your face and then goes away. You survive it. So these survive. 
even when you throw some kind of natural or supernatural disaster at them, they rebuild. But mostly what I learned when I learned to stop caring about complainers like Levi Johnston is I learned how to play the game better. I just smash their houses, put in casinos and make. Look at that, everybody. I don't know if you can see it because of my banner, so let me hide that. Yeah, we crossed the 1 million simoleon mark together. But all good things must come to an end. This is the last day of the Max Fun Drive. This is the last day of this season of the joy of zoning. Will there be further seasons? I make no promises. This has been wildly fun, but I have jobs to do. So who knows? I make no promises. Would it hurt? Would it hurt if you Wherever you're watching this on YouTube or Twitter or Twitch or the Judge John Hodgman Facebook page to smash that like button, to smash that subscribe button, to smash that alert button, to do all those things that everyone's telling you to smash when you watch a video, it would not help. I mean, it would not hurt. Sorry, it would not hurt. It would definitely help. It would definitely help. But in the meantime, hey, all pitches are over. Let's build a city together. Glad to see everyone is getting nice and feisty here in the comments. Hey, uh, Blunkenborn, I'll tell you what. If you missed episodes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far of the Joy of Zoning, guess what? They're all archived over at twitch.tv slash John Hodgman. I think on YouTube as well. I have a YouTube channel, but I, you know, it just has a picture of me. And actually today we're just getting started. I'm going to be going on for about an hour and improving the city and as promised, ruining it and destroying it with natural disasters. And then that will be the end of the season of the joy of something. But that, but we're here together now. We found each other. And uh, we're going to have a good time. Hey, Kate Littleton, my SimCity guru, has agreed. Has agreed to go to maximumfunds.org slash join and gift a membership, which is something you can do if you're already a member. There are lots of people who can't afford to chip in this year. You can go to maximumfunds.org slash join, chip in yourself for them. Buy a gift membership for someone you know or someone you don't know. You have the option to buy a gift membership for a Max Funster who can't afford to chip in this year. This is really nice. And hey, if you're that Max Funster who can't afford to chip in this year, of course it's fine. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening and supporting Maximum Fun in your own way. Thank you all for hanging in there through this Max Fun drive. Okay, now I'm really gonna play the game. When last we left our city, it was growing at a, at a rapid pace. As you know, we crossed over the 1 million simoleon mark. Something's happening over here with these books. Let's see what this beatnik says. Low skill. Manufacturing factories are complaining they can't find skilled workers build more schools. Well, I have this community college down here and I added an extension wing I also have a high school of course what you're seeing all this green if you are new to SimCity this that indicates that this is a residential zone I'll take it out so you can see the city more clearly it's our high school teaching 471 students. 
And clearly, Dr. Beatnik of the Education Department has stopped complaining. So my guess is that community college graduated some more students. You can see we have some industrial factories coming online. Let's speed things up a little bit here. Indeed, the only one complaining in Max Fund Drive, Sylvania is you. The bane of my existence, Johnny Hardhat. Donnie Hardhat over here, your little brother, has got nothing to say. Because as we go down the line, sewage is in the green, trending yellow, if you know what I mean. The sewage is trending yellow. We've got lots of water. We need some more power. Garbage collection is happening. More importantly, recycling is happening. Recycling, of course, is feeding our microchip processor factory, which Kate didn't want me to build. But if you look here, I mean, uh, in November alone, we made 201,000 simoleons on processor sales. Our hourly, uh, hourly budget is in a surplus of 6,500 simoleons. That's thanks to my casinos, our casinos, shall we say. I added that Roman Luck Casino to draw in some high wealth gamblers. And it is very profitable. That's the gambling house. That's not the, the Roman casinos over here. Roman Luck Casino. Some of that, you know, that famous Roman luck, the luck of the Romans. We have three, three rooms full for high wealth tourists. Well, they'll come when they want to. One thing that's happening in this city is often is oops, hazmat fires. don't know whether I am avail uh, able to upgrade my city hall to add a Department of Safety, which would allow me to add the special hazmat fire, fire truck garage. Derek Armson says, I'm just here for the destruction. It'll come. Well, maybe it'll start with some, with a mega tower. How are we for population? Yeah, we have 18,000 available jobs in the low wealth sector. That's going to be a problem. So I better build a low wealth mega tower and get Johnny Hardhat to sh shut it. The only question is where? I mean, it would be fun to build it right down here in the industrial zone where they might never enjoy the pleasures of upper Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. But I think it would be funner since we're already over here to go ahead and wipe out this city block, put in a mega tower right here. As Kate knows, my SimCity guru, towers are a slippery slope. They're not just a wasteful phallic symbol, they're also a slippery slope. Choose a mega tower with an apartment level. Oh, it won't even fit here after all of that. Look how mega this tower is. Okay, it won't fit there. So now you're saying John Hodgman, you monster. You destroyed homes for a project that isn't even going to happen. Quite right. It's okay. I can just put this right back here. But do I want to zone that residential just yet? Because I want to check my water table and make sure that I've got opportunities for more water. 
My guess is that I'm going to have to wipe this out, add another water pumping station, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. My treasury just continues to grow. Things are peachy here. Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. Yeah, they're asking for more power. First the pa first the water, then the power, then the tower. If you know what I mean. That's what uh, Al Pacino said. In Scarface, first you get the water, then you get the power. Was then you get the tower. And guess what? It turns out that's a terrible place to build a water pumping station. You can barely put in any other modules, but that's okay because this is probably the end of the city anyway. Let's go ahead and up, upgrade our power. Here's our oil power plant. And our oil derricks behind it. They're offering us bountiful free oil. And when we occasionally run out, we just buy some from the global market. First comes the water, then comes the power, then comes the tower. Hmm, all right. Where am I gonna put this? Are you still yelling at me about it? Yeah, make a tower. Let's see how big a footprint it needs. I can destroy some buildings. Oh, it can fit right in there. There we go. I already got a spot for it. Right here in the back. Where was that little spot? Yeah. I like this spot. I like this spot for my mega tower. I can just get out of that building and go right down the road and do their low skilled jobs. Everyone else is be happy about this mega tower. The Sims love mega towers. Do not ask me why. I think it's a sick incentive that they build into the game to get you to build these things. Yeah, there's no way to change the land, Obey Man. You're stuck with the with the land they give you. You can't do any terraforming here. Now, as you see, as we built this mega tower, our population actually went down. That's only because a bunch of residential buildings around it decided to decided to upgrade themselves, tear themselves down, and rebuild. And that cost me nothing. And soon those will be populated again. I don't know. Should we add another one? What about an elite mega tower for medium wealth people? And throw that in right next door. Let's do it. I want you to see as much fun stuff as you can before the season of the joy of zoning ends. What's he saying? Mega, look at all this stuff you need to know about mega towers. Apartment levels pay you rent based on their satisfaction. I don't care. Look, no one cares. And since I'm on a spending spree, I'm just going to go ahead and add another level to this mega tower. Oh, yeah. I think you were probably, if you've not seen these before, if you've not seen these mega towers before, you're probably saying to yourself, that does not seem very mega. That actually seems sort of like a mega stump. 
because you just add, add on to it, why not? No one's moved into that apartment level yet, so that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start construction on a new level. Hmm. Sarah Field says, I don't care about all that mega tower info. I just need to know more about the sideburns. Yeah, this guy's pretty wild. You know, he's supposed to be futuristic, I guess. So now we have two, two mega towers side by side, one dystopian, one utopian. And that's sort of the vibe of uh, Sim City Cities of Tomorrow. The, the package that added these mega towers in. They also added in two new technology types. Is the season going to end on a cliffhanger? Says Falcon's Born. I don't know. How about that for a cliffhanger? Yeah. I know it's true. It's absolutely true. The city planning philosophy that's underneath this game is profoundly broken. It, the thing that the thing that is astonishing to me is that these Sims will zip around the city all day long, demanding more fun things to do. Remember Levi Johnston? It's like this city's boring. I'm leaving. This city is boring, Levi. Uh, does it have Big Ben in it? Yeah, it does. Isn't that weird? We're not in England. That doesn't seem boring to me. Does it have the Old Globe Theater? Yes, it does. In fact, let's schedule a play for tonight. Does it have casinos and a, and a science fiction UFO themed disco? Yeah, it's right here. Thank you. Old leave by Johnston. That's right. Bye. Yeah, Lama, you missed the flopping of Big Ben. We uh, sang God Save the Queen in your honor out there in Reading, England. The ding. Lama, you got to come on get your pests if you can stay up tonight, Friday night. Let's take a look at Big Ben. Let's just do some wacky stuff today because this is the end my friends it's making it's it's i don't know how big ben makes money but apparently it's making ninety six thousand three hundred simoleons a day in profit uh, let's just freeze frame for a second What's going on with these kids? What's this? Some kind of cult? Who are you? Who's this person? Kelsey Mayo. Getting too old for this. What is your uniform? Oh, they're park workers. They're simple laborers. for souvenirs. As I was saying, usually the Sims are very going again. Complainy about things being boring, and yet if you build a city that has a beach on it, they never go to the beach. The only thing the beach is good for is is plopping ferry terminals and cargo ship ports and building factories alongside it because the Sims don't want to have anything to do with it. Weird, right? Let's see what this person wants. Before we upgrade our HQ, we need some funds. So 1,000, I think I've sold more than 1,000 simoleons worth of processors. No thanks. One thing that I've failed to do is honor this request to plop Maxis Manor. Maxis Man is the superhero in this game. I've never really been able to find a good place to plop him. Let's 
do it now. This is Max's manner. Max's man trains his body and mind to defeat Dr. Vu here when he's not responding to crime, fire, injury, or emergencies. Huh. This is a good pot spot. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I see. I'm pressing the wrong button. Excuse me. What do you think? Should we plop them between the school and the water generator? Or maybe let's put him down. Excuse me. There's a criminal right there. Maybe we should put him near where the crime is, I guess. This is the crime map. Crime is high. Wow, over here. For some reason, that's where all the police are as well. Why is crime so high over here? What's going on? Maybe I should put Max's man right over here in front of the train station. Will he fit? Is he ploppable? I'd have to take out that whole building. Don't feel like giving Max's man that amount of real estate. I'll put him right down here by this gambling palace. And we'll put him right across from the casino, right across from Big Ben. I wonder if Max's man is a tourist attraction. Now, I'm not approved to add the Maxis Mobile Turbo Machine Garage, nor the Reticulator Landing Pad. We need to get Maxis Man out there and doing stuff for the city, so... Save the injured Maxis Man. Let's take a look at him before we go. This is the Maxis Mobile right here. Going to heal an injured person. Good for you. Let's see what you do. What is Maxis Man even driving? It looks like a. Is he driving a, a mini? He's driving a mini. For this, I paid forty thousand dollars for a Maxis Manor. It does seem to speed right along, though. Maxis Man is stuck in traffic now. Max's man clearly has no no plan, no no pull with. He doesn't have a siren he can sound to get through. Um, I paid you five hundred dollars for this service, Max's man. I hope you find an injured person to heal. All of a sudden, I'm in the red on my budget, too, if you can see down here. Pause for a second. You're boring, Maxis Man. Why am I in the red on my budget? Oh. Probably. I'm profitable on all of my city specializations, but just barely. I raise taxes, people are going to start destroying their own buildings. I mean, this is the day to do some weird stuff, right? Let's see what happens. All right, continue, Maxis Man. In fact, let's speed you way up and just get to the point here. Wait a minute, returning to Max's Manor, I didn't see you do anything. What a creep. What a creep. All right, I guess he's going back to Max's Manor. I'm going to stop following you now. 
look at the big picture. Fire service is slow. Not enough freight producers now. Never stop, do you, Johnny Hardhat? It's okay. This is called the joy of zoning, so let's let's do some of that zoning. But let's let's keep tricking out our mega towers in the meantime. At another apartment level. level here too. Medium wealth. I'm back in the green, so I'm going to lower taxes. Everyone's going to love me. It's 11.46 here, and everybody, we've got some breaking news. We have breaking news here on the joy of zoning, and we're going to put on some different music to represent the. No, it's too, too. Oh my gosh, what, what does that music mean? Hang on, I'm receiving some information. Is it a disaster? No, it's not a disaster. In fact, it's an incredible promise to you because. This is the season finale of the Joy of Zoning, but I have enjoyed doing it so much that all that stuff I was telling you about how I'm never going to do it again because I have other jobs. No, I was lying. <laughs> I don't have any other jobs. In fact, I'm telling you right now, as soon as I find oh right banners. What I'm here to announce to you is that new season, new city, new zones. If you help us get to 15,000 new and upgrading members at MaximumFun.org slash join, I, John Hodgman, will do a whole new season of The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. It'll be much mellower than this. This is just an amped up moment. And that season will start Monday. Can I do it every day? No. Will I do it every Monday in May? Yes, that is the commitment that I'll make to you. Every Monday in May, including Memorial Day, which is a day off for the rest of the world, and I'll be at Solid Sound, having just hosted the comedy stage the night before. That's the Wilco Festival up in Western Massachusetts, North Adams. I'll do it then too. So look, if you've already joined, upgraded, or boosted, don't worry about it. I have a feeling that we're probably going to meet this goal, but I need your help. If you know someone who has not yet joined, boosted, or upgraded, would you let them know? By end of day today, we need another 1,500 new and upgrading members. The other podcasts are also making their pitches to hit that goal. I think we can do it, but we need your help. And if we do do it, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll do the Joy of Zoning, and we'll have fun on Mondays. And once we start doing the Joy of Zoning on Mondays after the Max Fun Drive, I won't ever talk about the Max Fun Drive. It'll just be pure city building. All right, this music's starting to get on my nerves. Let's go back to let's go back to our regularly scheduled zone out music. I'm very excited about this promise. Very excited about this promise. It's a, it's a good point that uh, that Moritz makes in the in the comments below. A Five dollar a month gift membership is sixty bucks for the year. Gift it to some anonymous person. That counts towards our goal. That's a that is a new member. Maximumfund.org/join. Do the gift. Let's get back to the city, shall we? Yes. Oop, we're on pause. Let's unpause. Let's keep these. Let's keep the city building.
now? Are you asking, will I continue to build Max Fund Drive Sylvania? No, I'm going to destroy it. Or at least I'm going to throw some stuff at its way. But we got to... Clear the, clear the way for some, oops. Clear the way for some new growth. Some abandoned buildings here. I love it when factories just uh, fall apart and fall to the ground on their own. Somehow when factories fall to the ground on their own, all of a sudden my whole board is clear. And the whole board being clear suggests that all is right in this city. So let's throw some stuff at it. Let's not get, let's humble this town, shall we? I've never seen the Outworlder 6 before, so here it comes. How do I deploy it? Are you telling me I can't? Oh, I see. There we go. This is what happens. Where am I going to land this Outworlder 6? Well, I guess I'm going to land it right here in the middle of this residential area where these fancy pants live. Oh, how about right here at City Hall? There we go. Space robot menaces city. Breaking news. Let's, go. Let's watch this. gonna stand there or what are you gonna do oh, you're gonna knock that down and look meanwhile city hall is saying hey uh, do you want to add an amusement park to your city uh, do you know what's happening right now uh, no thanks but I do appreciate your lack of anxiety surrounding this menace gonna take out my city hall or no oh no no not my recycling factory oh you're gonna slip and fall be careful oh all right yeah wow wow taking out my recycling factory I don't care about that factory care about that factory either. I've long wanted to get rid of those oil fields. Thank you. You're just doing me a service. What are you stealing energy? Robot launches. Bye, my friend. exciting. That was very exciting. <laughs> Let's get that recycling factory back up and running, shall we? He didn't even, all he did was trash a couple of my modules. I can bulldoze those. Pull, what ha oh, I'm sure something just collapsed. Happens all the time. just rebuild those modules. Where we have an uh, alloy and another alloy and a 
plastic. That's my first priority because that goes to a very specific purpose of rebuilding my trade supply lines. That's how I make all the money. I think we're going to crack 2 million. And I'm definitely going to re plot that trade depot. Well, I'm hold on that. Let's see what happens. So my cursor keeps disappearing on this buggy program. These factories will just rebuild themselves. There's no reason to panic. Where else? The rubble here. That's interesting that giant robot didn't go for anything other than a couple of buildings. Well, I have now. Maybe I had to clean the wax out of my ears. But that's great. Thank you, everybody. I'm so thrilled that you guys are you're all given those uh, those gift uh, those gift memberships. It's really helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and check uh, check the website and see where we're at. Maximumfun.org/join. Okay, that's not right. Maximumfun.org/join. Just so you know, maximum.org is for sale. Wow. Wow, we're now we're at 13,840. That's a couple hundred since last I checked, and I am pretty sure you're a big part of that. Thanks, everybody. Maximumfund.org slash join. What do you want to see next? What kind of what kind of destruction do you want to see next? Is my question to you. Put it in the chat. Yeah, okay, I'll do a gift membership for sure. I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna do it right now. Well, I'll do it right after this, but yes, you can count me in. I'll add one. I am a member, of course, at the, I dare say at the highest level. I'm paying myself already, but yes, good idea. Thank you, Mertz. Some people are saying zombies. Some people are saying giant lizard. Zombies are fun. Let's do it. Giant lizard is very, very similar to um, giant robot. Not that we can't do it, but I'm just saying. Let me just clear away some of this rubble. That's, I think, the factory that collapsed. the big picture, I'm going to send zombies right down my main thoroughfare, right down the strip. Zombies. Cannot use during daytime. Okay. As soon as the sun sets, though, zombies, you're coming. Or I'm come. You're gonna come. I'm coming for you, so that you can go going for them. If that makes sense. That'll be a fun street level event to watch. Oh, I've been upgrading my gambling HQ. I didn't even know. What a what a hoot. What does that unlock? New module, right? Gaming division or entertainment division. I've not done the entertainment division one. But first, what's this person asking for? Let's find out. You know what would get me home from work faster? A maglev train. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. 
not enough room to increase density over here. And you want a maglev train? Maybe you should get your priorities straight. Go out on a mission. Max this man while I'm here. To do that, I'd have to build the academy. And I'm gonna hold the academy for season two of The Joy of Zoning starting Monday. I'll build an academy city. Very futuristic. 7.45 p.m. Where's the sun? Oh, it's getting darker. Which way is east? Or west? Where, what coast are we on, even? Well, there's that airship. Where's the sun setting? Over there? Looks like it. Kick it up to cheetah speed and watch the sun set. Add another level. In the meantime, here. What do you have to yell at me about now? Not enough freight producers. I know, a giant robot destroyed all my factories. Jerk. Another apartment level. At first, everyone's happy in the mega towers, and then they start complaining. Night has fallen. Let's slow it down. No. No. I won't build an academy until Monday. Sorry. Very jaunty hat, though. It's coming up on 10 a.m. Brian Lair time here in New York City. I'll keep going for a little while because we had that glitch at the beginning of the program. Now it's time for zombies. Put them right out here. You know what? Mm -hmm. Luck of the Romans is not a thing. Roman luck casino. And to prove it, I'm dropping zombies on you. Whoa, look at those zombies go. Whoa, slow it down. Can I get any closer? Can I follow a zombie? Yeah, zombie looking for brains. Follow. That's a for sure follow, automatic follow. Oh no. So what happens? They eat people and then they become zombies? They attack? There. Come on, do your thing. You know, Zack Snyder's remake of George Romero's Dawn of the Dead is most famous for introducing the fast zombie as opposed to the traditional plotting zombie. There we go. You can hear them crunching. become zombies themselves. George Romero, of course, is the parent of the famous cinematic zombie. It's along here, zombies. Those were slow and lumbering zombies. These zombies kind of are in the middle, although he's, now he's really cooking. He's got a buddy with him. What do you, oh, you moved over to Big Ben? Sure, who can blame you? Yep, there's a really tiny sound effect. I don't know if you can hear the sound effects today. Everything's always a little bit different with the streaming platform. But every time the zombie approaches someone, gives them a little nibble. Who am I following again? Oh, you're in there behind the colonnade? find another zombie to follow. You're boring. I'll follow you. You seem to be wearing a hat. I like that.
munch, munch, munch. Even when they're zombified, the Sims are pretty stupid. I mean, cross the street, buddy. There's so many people over there, so many brains. Looking for brains came from an abandoned building. Is this building an abandoned building? Oh, yeah, right. There was a building here. Oh, they're all hiding in the abandoned building. The building was devoured by zombies. Bye-bye. Now where are you, zombies? Let's take a walk down through our... It's starting to rain. Do you think they melt in the rain? Let's go ahead and take a little walk through town. Walk down the strip. Just... Oops, I did not mean to bulldoze that bulldoze that road. Nope. Get out of bulldoze mode. Have to be quick with the escape key in this one. Zombies crumble from sunlight. Well, there it is. Everything's good again. Even the natural disasters, which I, the first time they started happening to me, I was so panicked by them. Sorry, I keep having to adjust here. But the truth is, not a bad, not a big deal. The sun always rises. Apparently over here. This must be, well, I don't know what, Uh, that's the east. This is an east coast city. Sun always rises. Boy, is it bright. It's as far as I can go. It's as far as I can go pretty much today. I do have the need, even though I do have the need to clean things up. Not enough freight producers. Is that all you got to throw at me? High tourist demand? Makes fun drive Sylvania, everybody. Good job. I'm not going to destroy the city completely. What I'm going to do is go out into the world and claim another city to build with you starting Monday. You have an opinion on which one? Left or right? Clearwater is an important connection between Norwich Hills, which was the original name of our city. In Trinity Port. It is poised to become a major trade port shipping resources to the global market from Cape Trinity. Notice that it has zero natural resources. No oil, no coal, no ore, no oil. No coal, nor ore, nor oil, excuse me. On the other hand, jutting into Trinity Bay, gorgeous views make Trinity Point prime real estate for a coastal resort town. That is your right-hand choice. Kate, you have been a good guru so far. Mm -hmm. Being Max Funsters, don't we always vote left, says Seraph Builds. Well, I can do boats. Kate, I can do boats in both of them. I don't see... I don't see a consensus forming. I think that both cities are basically the same. 
Oh, the circle in the center. Sorry. That's a great work site. So that's where you can build like a giant solar array or a space center and launch rockets. I think that that should be our goal, right? To launch rockets in honor of maximum fun. But there are other things too. If I do forward slash poll in chat, what does that do? Just makes just says poll. Wherever the mouse is nearest. Oh, didn't get there. Where is it? Didn't get off the, off the window again. Uh, this one. Left. I can't even see how much wind power this one has up here. So another bug of this game is it's hard to read these things. Oh, no, I'm definitely going to get this one. It has more water. Sorry, going to the right. There we go, Trinity Point. That's where we'll start on Monday morning at 9 a.m. Oh, Kate Littleton, though, you make a good point. Well, I mean, honestly, why not both? I'll decide later. When we start on Monday, I'll just have started building in one of them and you can see. I'm going to have to funnel a lot of our millions of simoleons into this new city because I have basically no way of making money other than uh, more casinos, I suppose, more tourism, and definitely trade. Trade doesn't feel as fun. It feels like min fun, where this has all been max fun. But let's go back to our original city and we'll say goodbye. Max fun drive Sylvain. Let's see, we've unlocked the arcology. That is a, a great work. Please stop. Okay, thank you. Load. Max Fun Drive, Sylvania needs plastic. No, it doesn't. Max Fun Drive needs new and upgrading members. And thanks to you and your incredible support that we're on our way to the 15,000 members. And we'll start season two on Monday. It sounds to me... Oh, look, I still have Grendel's thing up. Everyone take your screenshots. I have a feeling we're going to make it. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it. It would be sad if I couldn't. But I have a feeling we're going to make it. You have until the end, until midnight, West Coast time tonight, for us to hit that mark. Thank you all for your gift, uh, don uh, your gift memberships and all of the support that you've offered financially or not. And um, if you want to help push us to that goal, just make sure to hashtag everything Max Fun Drive. This has been John Hodgman for The Joy of Zoning. It's been nice to build this happy little city with you. Never did complete these towers. Maybe we'll come back to it. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Because the thing that really reduces anxiety, the true lesson of SimCity, is knowing when to stop. Bye.